but they just kept battling. So certainly disappointing for our guys. Um, you know, I love our guys and our team. Um, you know, so we got uh, a lot to work on, some things that we need to improve upon. Uh, certainly, I need to do a better job of, of, of helping our guys and, and getting them organized, prepared. And losses are always on the coaches. Um, our kids do a good job. They work their butts off. So um, game management-wise, I've just got to do a better job helping them um, try to manage the fourth quarter. Questions? Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Uh, yeah, coaches is obviously very cliche, but in every loss there's a lesson. What can you take from this game that you guys can use going forward? Because I know you guys have ultimate goals that far exceed a game uh, at this point in the season? Sure. Uh, I think there's so many things you can learn. Um, you know, there's obviously, you know, just manage the fourth quarter a little bit better. Uh, we had some young guys in, in spots, and uh, we had some guys play very, very well. I thought Dan just did a tremendous job for us today, uh, faced a lot of shots, and they were on top of us early, um, and Dan kind of held them off. Um, you know, obviously, we got a little undisciplined with some of our fouls, um, so those are some things that we can improve upon. But you know, after six games to be five and one uh, with a lot of new parts, uh, there's a lot to build on. Um, there's certainly a lot to be proud of. And in one goal game, those could go either way. I think it makes it a little bit harder knowing that we were, you know, up eight to three uh, and we didn't close it out. But, uh, you know, hopefully we're in that situation again and we learn from that. We can reflect on it and grow from it. Dan, what was the biggest defensive difference in the fourth quarter from your perspective? Um, you know, just. In the fourth quarter, I think we just had some, some breakdowns. I think I didn't do a good enough job communicating. I uh, missed some saves. Uh, but we just didn't execute to the level that we're used to, um, that you know is our standard. But you know we're going to go back next week. We're going to look at the film. We're going to learn from it and uh, try to get better. Coach, you had it seemed like you had uh, Tim Rotance playing some short stick defense. Was that by plan? It was, was that one of your plans if the game was close? Um, Timmy's does such a good job. He's so experienced. Um, that you know we just felt like having a little experience wouldn't be a bad idea um he seemed pretty fresh he's also great in transition um so we felt like that that might be advantageous for us john who went into decision to go with curtis against uh, kind of field driving press um you know we just kind of did some things in practice and and we felt like either guy would be good um but we felt like just you know the way as we went through the week curtis just seemed to be a pretty natural fit and i actually thought curtis did a nice job on him i mean you know, with with the way they play, you're going to get dodged a lot, um, and so you got to choose what you want to do. If you help too much, um, too fields, he's going to open up and, and obviously make some plays. And you saw it against UMass. You know, I think he had 12 points in that game, um, and they zoned him a little bit. So for us, we certainly were going to help Curtis when we needed to, but we we're also going to trust him. And um, I mean, that guy gets dodged, whoever is covering Connor, all game long. Um, so I thought, all in all, I thought Car Curtis did a pretty did a good job. Connor, how would you characterize their defensive performance, particularly 37 and 25, like in San Jared most of the game? Right, they're a great two players. Obviously, they have a great defense uh, led by their goalie. And just credit to those guys, they, they battled all day. But I think I take full responsibility for today's uh, sort of losses on the offensive end. I think I got to be better. I got to be more vocal. I don't think we were organized for most of the uh, most of the game. So I put it on myself. I thought our defense played great along with Dan. Connor, in the fourth quarter, <clears throat> what, what contributed to some of the offensive troubles that we had? When you guys didn't have the ball. Uh, I think I, again I take full responsibility. I just got to be more vocal. Uh, I think we were just sort of disorganized at some points. And obviously with Jared, he's such an unselfish guy. You know, he could take over a game anytime he wants. And I think, uh, you know, sometimes we want to put the ball in his stick, but he also wants to move it. So we're sort of trying to find our chemistry right now. And obviously it's early. Uh, we're going to learn from this loss. Dan, Dan, Mark, Dan, you had some spectacular saves. I mean, the splits, you were on fire. How did you see the ball that well today? Um, you know, the scout guys throughout the week do a really good job giving me looks. Um, I spent a lot of time in the film room with Coach Tillman uh, watching different guys release points, um, you know, especially with a team like Albany. Uh, they have a lot of different release points. They're really skilled guys, guys that, you know, I don't see those kind of releases a lot. Um, so, you know, just credit to the scout guys and credit to Coach Tillman to get me ready to kind of see some of those shots. John, in the first half, I thought you guys played really cleanly. 7 of 11 to face off, not a lot of turnovers. 
but it seemed like your at your halftime comments you saw it a different way. Right? Yeah, I just thought we 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 just weren't in a great flow. I just didn't, you know. I just felt like we were playing super slow from the beginning. Um, just it just didn't seem like we were in a great rhythm, uh, you know. And again, obviously, you know, I got to look back and, and whether it's you know what we did during the week or you know obviously what we did early to today. I just felt like we didn't have great pace, um, good tempo. Um, and, uh, you know, like for us, it, that's when we're at our best. When the ball's zinging around, we're just getting the spots and guys are moving and cutting um, and we get into a flow. And I just felt like we struggled to get in a flow all day. You know, credit to Albany. What do you think of the environment? Something tough on the uh, I mean, to me, that's as good as it gets. I mean, um, Turk Nation showed up. They were fantastic. Um, uh, just our fans here are the best. And I'm so thankful for, obviously, their support. Um, you know, to have that and, and to be a guy, you know, a, a young guy on our team to be part of that. I mean, those are the games you dream of playing when you're a young guy. And then when you're here, these are things that you'll remember for the rest of your life. So pretty special. And again, just another great reason why it's so special to be able to be part of this program. Connor, how much of the inability to score in the fourth quarter was a result of the fact that this offense hasn't really trailed a whole lot this year? All uh, right. I think we're just trying to figure out ourselves, trying to find our chemistry. Obviously, we have a lot of moving parts right now. We're trying to figure out our two units along with our attack line. So I just got to put it on myself to get better this week and obviously look at the film, what we can do better. So, But I thought our defense played great again. It was an awesome atmosphere to play in, and uh, I just granted I got to be better. John, are they the team to beat for the national championship? Oh, I don't know. I'm certainly, you know, we're, we're five games in, and they're certainly outstanding for sure. Um, I think they're in the conversation. Uh, I haven't seen everybody out there, but they're really, really good for sure. Coach, you guys got Nova next. They're having a great season, too. Pretty good team. I know you guys will get back game plan and whatnot, but from right now, what do you know about them and what kind of team are they? Uh, I know they've been pretty good so far. I don't know what they did today, but uh, I know they've had some big wins. Um, they beat us last year, so obviously, you know, we, we know they're a talented bunch. Um, you know, Coach Corrado does a really good job. Um, they score a lot of goals. Um, they're always dangerous. Um, obviously, we're excited to get up to Philly. Um, you know, that's a great place for us. We have a lot of alums up there. Um, you know, so I think for our guys, I think they'll be excited to get back at it this week, try to get better, uh, try to learn, grow, stick together. Um, and get ready to play for play another good team. Time for two more. John, is, is short stick defense a concern after seeing the way that McClancy and Patterson were able to kind of turn the tide of this game for Albany? Um, I mean, certainly uh, we have some guys that are kind of growing down there, and uh, I think the guys are continuing to get better. You know, we obviously had to make some decisions. You help too much on those guys, um, and then you're staring down uh, some pretty darn good shooters up top. Um, if you don't help those guys, you know, they found some creases and, and put the ball in. And unfortunately, I think Dan uh, got a piece of a couple of those. Um, so it's hard. You know, every team's a little bit different. You got to make some choices. Um, you're going to have to give up something. Um, you help too much on the shorties, and then you worry about one and five. You help too much on one and five. Uh, now, all of a sudden, they're thrown to those guys. And, and that's the beauty of their offense and, and a team like Albany that can beat you so many different ways. You know, Last one. They were up 16 to one in the like the second quarter of one of their games. So uh, they, they put a lot of pressure on you. Sorry, Chris. Last Dan, one. Dan, the Cotter Fields and Nanico tried quite a few trick passes around the back. Did you see that well? And who was talking on defense to make sure that the pass actually was made? Um, you know, we practiced all week. Like I said um, before, the scout guys did a great job trying to prep us um, for, you know, stuff that we usually don't see um, throughout our schedule. But, you know, the BTBs, the, you know, the backhands, that kind of stuff. Um, we practiced that all week, and um, you know we just tried to communicate well between our our whole defense to see you know where the passes went, who they're going to, and try to you know shore up inside. But um, you know we'll look at the film to, like I said before, to try and learn from it and get better for next week. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Albany will be in next.